Okay, good day everybody. Good evening one and all. So, long awaited video. Here it is. So, uh, this is a Wednesday ride. And I'll just have it, it's just a quick vlog um, to keep me in the loop, to keep everyone in the loop. So, everything's all good. Valve Rider's still pumping along. Um, I haven't been riding much. This is a Wednesday ride we did, uh, it's a public holiday. All the lads got together and decided to go out for a little spin and um, I decided I'll be a part of it. So I'm a bit breakfast. I've got a hectic day ahead. Kids are all gone to school. I've got a whole heap of things to do so I thought I'd just stick this video out there quickly. So it's going to be a very quick one. No data. Um, this ride by the way was about 80 k's. I haven't done an 80k ride for probably four or five months. Felt really good. Felt really good considering I haven't done a great deal of riding. Although I have been going out, but not been doing any efforts, I haven't really been pushing myself, just general coffee rides, you know, that sort of thing. I haven't done a great deal on um, Zwift, but that's about to change because I'm getting back in training. I'm doing the um, Brisbane to Gold Coast soon and uh, I've got to get fit again. But anyway, before I do any of that, um, I've got to get me a new one of these. My 510 Edge has finally carted it. If anyone's got any ideas, put a comment down below and let me know. But I'll just tell you what's happened. It has just died. So it will not, it doesn't get recognized by the computer. So any computer I plug it into doesn't get recognized. I've tried the different USB cables with it. Um, and it also will not charge anymore either, so I can't get it to charge. It's down to about 20% now, so I'm guessing it's going to cark it. Um, I've done a factory reset, all the rest of it, just can't get it going. So um, that's why this video has no data, because um, I had to in the end use my phone to get the data on to Strava. So um, all I literally had on this was speed whilst I was going along. So. Anyway, I'm going to go out um, and I think I'm going to get the 520, so I'll go and get that today. Um, but if anyone's got any ideas how I can get that one going in the meantime, let me know. But I have tried everything. I've had a, I've had a look on Google, I've done all the um, searches, I've seen what other people have said, tried everything. It doesn't work. Holding down different buttons to start it, reset it. Not happening. But anyway. Such is life. Considering I've had a fair bit off the bike, a fair bit of time off the bike, which I'll say around about two and a half months now, not off the bike as in completely gone, not ridden. I have ridden, let's not forget, but I've just been plodding along. But I didn't feel too bad on this ride. I did a couple of good bursts up the front um, and uh, felt pretty good. This was just a nice, steady, casual ride, but we kept popping along at a nice pace. Um, and uh, I felt pretty good, I'm quite pleased with that. So maybe my FTP has dropped slightly. Um, maybe, I don't know. I think it's time to do an FTP test. I think it's time to blow the cobwebs out the, out the water, blow it away, and um, see where I'm at for the beginning of my season, let's say. Um, so I'll do an FTP, don't forget it was around about 314 I got it up to, 314, 319 I can't remember. Um, I'll do want to see how much it's dropped, because now we get, I haven't done a great deal for about two and a half months. I've done the odd run, um, done some rides and that, but not a great deal of efforts and things, no major training. So we'll see exactly where it's happened. I'll do that FTP next week and I'll video that and see. Um, where we're at um, and it will also give me a good starting point to see where I can um, build to um, and get back up to and maybe if it has dropped to say maybe 280-ish, 285 or something we'll see how long it takes me to get it back up over that 300 it shouldn't take too long because I do feel good so maybe this break has done me um, some good you know my legs felt good, cardio felt good so we'll go from there um, I haven't put on any weight so I've been eating well still, although I haven't been doing as much exercise, I have been eating well still, because I always eat well, and I keep saying to people, you know, if you want to keep lean, stay lean, you know, get rid of that gut around your waist, you are still going to eat well, although you're doing the exercise, you still have to eat well, so um, I haven't put on any weight, which is good. 
Um, so anyway, this is about it for this video. So there's no data on it, it's not a great deal. This is just a nice steady ride. It's around about 80 k's. It was good fun. There was about six of us out. Um, we had a few sprints up some hills. Um, didn't catch those on video, but we got a few sprints up some of the hills and a bit of a lap. Um, and that's it. So I'm off out now to go and get my Garmin. I've been flat out with work. I've sold my business, setting up a new business. So I'm mostly through setting it up and hopefully I'll be starting that in the next week and a half, two weeks. So it should start to taper down a bit with all the um, strange stuff you've got to do to set a business up. So all that bit's done. Um, and uh, so anyway, I'll be able to get a few more videos out there with a bit of luck and get more into a routine you know get into a routine again because um, I've been having it a little bit too easy with a bit of time off with setting this up and you know a bit here and there but anyway get into my routine and I'll start putting some um, decent videos out again uh, so that is it for this one um, you got any questions or comments you got any advice on my little um, dilemma with my Garmin do please put your comments down below until then, I shall see you on the